Hello guys, so I'm going to give you a tour of my drum kit. I've had so many requests in the last, uh, I don't know, year or two about the equipment I use and um, yeah, well I'm not sponsored by any drum com company or something so I I don't know, but if it makes you happy um, I'm going to show you what I use. And um, I have to say I'm not a big uh, gear head so I, I'd rather play than, you know, skip through magazines and, and catalogs and okay let's go I'm gonna turn this around and um, I'm gonna start with the symbol here to the left so that's an Istanbul uh, 17 inch uh, crash medium thin that's a really nice smooth crash symbol I like that one a lot. My main crash is the UFIP Experience Series. Um, it's a 16 inch and uh, yeah, very nice symbol as well. And my one of my favorite symbols of all times is the one stacked on top here. It's a UFIP Class Series, a 10 inch China Splash. That sounds really uh, beautiful. I'm actually amazed. It's, it's, it's really, like you can see, I can bend it easily. Um, I'm amazed that I didn't crack it because I've been using this symbol for oh, at least uh, 10 years, maybe. <coughs> um, we got, uh, or I got a, a splash here, an 8 inch Vedis Zildjian custom uh, splash. Um, well, I used the UFIP before, which is actually kind of nicer, but this one records very well, so I I, um, I didn't like it at first, to be honest, but uh, on recordings it sounds actually really awesome. Then to the left, I get uh, a pair of uh, Swiss-made uh, pasty accent symbols. Uh, I stack them. And they they give me this uh, weird effect sound, really uh, really nice actually. Um, to my far left, there's a Sabian chopper. It's an eight inch, and um, I put a custom cut it um, bell of a formerly uh, cracked crash symbol on top. It, it doesn't affect the sound of the chopper, but it, it gives me another um, sound I can use. Then I got um, tambourine, a rhythm tech tambourine, right between the chopper and the snare drum. Here down here, my uh, foot symbol is another um, chopper by Sabian. It's, this one's a 10 inch. Then to the right, I got a second tired. That's an X head, so it's it's permanently closed. And this one's an, uh, you can hardly see it anymore. It's an AA flat head, so the flat part is uh, underneath. Um, then my my right symbol. Um, I frequently change my right symbols actually, but the one I'm using today is uh, HH Leopard Ride, made by Sabian, and uh, this one's a 20 inch. It's a super dry hand hammered uh, right symbol, but um, yeah, I like this one a lot, especially in recordings it's, uh, as well. Then uh, on top of that. I stacked, um, that's actually a really old symbol, I think it's made in, uh, in the 40s, might be able to show you that, and it's uh, made or at least distributed by UFIP, it's made in Italy, has some lots of rivets in there, <coughs> cost 38 dollars at some point. Um, 
and that's a really awesome symbol. I, I stacked it on top of my right symbol and um, it gives me this crasher, dirty hi-hat sound I, I love to use. Great for the drum bass music I, I love to play. And um, here's to my right is an uh, Sabian AA medium thin crash. I think that's a 17 inch as well. Yeah, it is. Very nice symbol. On top of that, there's a minor. Don't know if you can see that. A minor uh, classic bell. Oh no, it's actually uh, the classic series, but it's it's a power bell, eight inch. Very nice for accents. And on the right side, I got a pasty 3000 China type, an 18 inch. Very nice uh, China symbol. And I got a UFIP effect symbol here with tons of rivets in there. It's fun to use. And some old uh, UFIP symbols again. I uh, I use as a, as a hi hat and additional effect sound. So um, okay, let's talk about the drum kit. So I got a 14 inch uh, tom to the right and uh, 10 inch in front. And when I bought the kit, it, it it's it's a Pearl Masters Customs uh, in Maple. When I bought the kit, I I bought uh, like it came with four toms, like an eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen inch toms, and um, I hardly ever used the eight inch one. And just recently, I I got rid of the the twelve inch. So at the moment, I'm just using using two toms. It's usually good enough. And um, okay, so that's a twenty-two inch bass drum. I added some uh, wood hoops, just looks nice. And um, um, let's just move to the other side. Oh, I got this nice um, front hat made by vintagelogos.com. They did a great job, it looks really awesome. And if you haven't figured it out by yet, that's my artist name. If you read it backwards, it says uh, Drum Andy. Um, okay, so the rack I'm using is a, is a pearl rack. I've been using this rack for a long time. And works well. So, let's go around and have a look at the snare drums. So my main snare drum is a 14-inch Brady. I forgot the name of the, the wood they use, some uh, exotic Australian wood. Uh, it's an Australian company and this it's a, it's quite an expensive snare drum but it's, it sounds very nice actually. Um, it's very very responsive. And uh, my the <coughs> 10 inch snare drum to my left, that's a Mapex Black Panther. It's a really awesome snare drum, especially for the drum and bass music I love to play. And to the far left, there's my Sonoa 10 inch jungle snare, which is modified. And uh, I got a whole video on my channel here dedicated to that snare drum. So check it out. And it's uh, the metal ring is actually attached with some kind of a bungee cord to sit loose. On the snare drum. I had uh, many requests regarding that snare drum too. So the foot pedals I'm using for the um, the foot cymbal, I, I use a Yamaha. So, I don't know, not, nothing fancy actually, but it, it does the job. And um, my double kicker is, um, yeah, again, nothing fancy. It's a Dixon double kick paddle. Um, I think I paid 80 euros for that double kick thing and it's actually amazing how good it is. Um, then as a height I use the DW5000. 
Um, that's about it. Nothing, nothing really fancy down there. And for drum heads at the moment, I use uh, Evans uh, Genera G1 on the 10 inch trash snare, Remo uh, Ambassador on the 10 inch uh, second snare drum, um, Genera HD Dry on my, like an Evans uh, <coughs> coated on my uh, main snare drum. On the toms I use the Remo's Power Strokes 3. I like those heads, I have to say. And I use some, some dampening like the, the moon gills and some rings, depending on what kind of sound I need for the recording. And on the, on the bass drum I get the Evans EQ3 better head, which is, uh, delivers a really nice punchy sound too. And um, use this patch here too. So um, yeah, most of the hardware is uh, pearl. And yeah, I think that's that's probably it. Uh, I, oh, we I, I could show you the microphones too. Why not? So on the snare drums, I usually use um, SM57s. Sure. Um, sometimes, like in this case, I wanted to have a little duller sound. I use an SM58. And um, on the toms, I use the Sennheiser. E604s and um, on the hi-hat and on the, the other hi-hat and actually capturing the right symbol as well I use Rodi's um, NT5s um, okay. as overheads I use the Rodi's NT1s I got a pair of those and sometimes they're in front of the kit or above the kit as classic overheads in in this case i i put one to the left of the kit and one uh, pretty close to the floor tom to give me a nice stereo sound for the recording i made uh, this morning and on the bass drum i use an akg d112 um, classic bass drum microphone works uh, really well and uh, I think that's a T-bone um, which I don't use for recording but I maybe you can hear it whenever I play I actually amplify my bass drum so that microphone is just here to to root this sound to an, um, a keyboard amp to my side gives me a little punch. I like that. And um, yeah, on the sides I I got the PA system here, Yamaha and Roland PA system. I use a Terma Rhythm Watch to keep time of what I'm doing. And yeah, all the microphones they run through the stage box or studio box, however you call that into the other room and sorry it's a bit messy in here actually it's always messy and that's the stuff I'm using I'm using a Studio 32 Mackie mixing desk so the mics go in there and I use uh, oh, several stuff like a few preamps like I get a Behringer for the overheads I get a gold mic the snare drum for vocals too uh, because I, I do band recordings here as well and I got a Eddie Roll 10 uh, channel interface some um, bass guitar amps like the multicom and the composer for I use that for the toms and the, the kick like the noise gates and a little compression and uh, I got the art uh, preamps I use for the snare drums and the, the right and the hi-hat. And um, that's pretty much it. And that's my setup here. Like I said, a bit messy. So, um, let's go back to the set. 
I think I didn't miss anything, so I hope you enjoyed the tour. And um, see you in my next video. Alright, bye.